I recently overheard a woman on the subway telling her friend that her toddler swipes everything in their house. The tables, books, plates, even her own mother. Trying to make her disappear like an image on a touch screen. This story got me thinking that for many of us, our knowledge of what's going on behind that glossy display isn't much more than a toddler. There are many touchscreen technologies, but the most commonly used are resistive and capacitive. The resistive screens literally resist your touch, and if you press hard enough, you can feel the screen bend slightly. This is what makes the resistive screens work. There are two layers in resistive touchscreen, the conductive layer and the resistive layer. These are separated by tiny dots called spacers. The electric current runs through the yellow layer at all times. But when you touch the screen, the resistive layer comes in contact with the conductive layer. Thus, the electric current changes at that point of contact, and the function corresponding to that point is carried out. Resistive screens are durable and consistent, but they're harder to read because of multiple layers which reflect more ambient light. Ambient light is the surrounding light reflected back from the screen, making the text harder to read. Unlike resistive touch screens, capacitive screens do not use the pressure of your finger to create change in the flow of electricity. Instead, they work with anything that holds an electric charge, including human skin. Capacitive touch screens are constructed using materials like copper or indium tin oxide that store electric charges in an electrostatic grid of tiny wires, each smaller than a human hair. There's a glass substrate, a conductive layer, a protective coating, a controller, and electrodes at the corners. The electrodes apply a low voltage to the conductive layer, creating a uniform electrostatic field. When a finger hits the screen, a tiny electrical charge is transferred to the finger to complete the circuit, creating a voltage drop at that point on the screen. The location of this voltage drop is recorded by the controller, and this is how a capacitive touchscreen works. If you like this video and you want to see more, you can subscribe here. Or if you have an idea for a new video, you can leave it in the comments section below. And if you want to try some other cool science videos, try this link.